hi guys in this part i'm gonna talk about one of the interesting commands in rhino i believe each of these softwares has got a dominant command which is significant for example 3d max is known for its edit polish rhino is known for blend curve that it being in this session i'm gonna talk about it so in the continuation let's talk about it but at first i want you to see the applications of the plant curve command in rhino and then i will talk about to i mean how to work with it and also the tips and tricks right now we got two lines if i start the command of blend curve then we can specify the points to join these points, I mean these two lines to each other, in order to have a curve. So this is the main application of blend curve command. That this could be very useful actually. That in the continuation I'm gonna exemplify some cases so you will understand its applicability. Like joining these two lines with a curve like this. Wait for a second please. I'm gonna show you some projects here. Here, as you can see, I showed you the similar version right now. Two lines that are joined to each other with a curve. Or for example, here, that the lines are joined by a curve. Check this out. Here, we got the curve again. We will sketch all of these in the continuation. Let's check this out. For instance, here we got two lines, and then we got the curve that has joined these two points, these two lines to each other by this way let's go on the next image here again we got the two lines that are joined right now here in these examples we get the similar process that we can catch them by using plant curve so it is very useful and also this one let's check it out in rhino i'm gonna give you an example before starting talking before I start to talk about the command I'm gonna give you some examples to reach a deep understanding about the significance of this command check this out and a 90 degrees angle so I should move this upwards by this way then I start the command of blend CRV I start it then I join these two lines by a curve check out the result like this in the perspective view here it is the image therefore it is very helpful but let's talk about it more and get familiar with it in the continuation i'm going to start with a simple geometry here we got a line like this and the next line take this out after that i'm gonna start the command of blend blend crv here as you can see we got different types of blends but we should choose blend crv since we got blend edge arc blend our choice is blend curve by this way i start the command then here in the scene here i should specify the end point and the start point of these two lines that i want to join them to each other i click to specify the end point so the place you click is important for example if i click at this side and then that side check this out those were the specified points or check this out so we should specify the correct points or end points check this out again then in the dockable window of adjust curve blend we can control the curveness of the blend curve let's talk about the items or the options here we got the position that we got two degrees for the curveness one and two the next one is the tangency here we got the second degree degree of the curveness in which we got two control points as you can see in the third one is the curvature in which we got the third grade of the curveness we got three control points then we got the g3 and g4 that give us four and five control points in order to modify the curve however we can modify the curveness manually for example you may want to ignore the tangency and also curvature i mean you want to have your own customized grade of curveness so what should we do for these we can click on these and then move these control points and then adjust the curveness by this way but if you wanted to move these control points identically 
again curve land we can hold down shift then if i move one of them then we can modify them symmetry i mean both of the sides will be identical to each other and we are customizing our curve without using the grades let me give you another example for example here we got a re uh, rectangle uh, i exploded and then here i want to use start the command of blend curve check this out i want to reduce the curveness i hold down shift for having a symmetry adjustment i adjust it or for instance in this example here we got a line and then a vertical line i start the command of blend curve by this way then watch this here and we can hold down shift for selecting symmetry and then controlling them identically by this way Um, but um, while we are blending two curves, I mean joining them by a curve, we can control the start point of the blend too. Let me give you an example. I mean here we have straight lines. Here you may want to control the start point. So here we can click and then drag the end knot and then move it backwards by this way. Okay, check this out again i repeat i blend them at first but i want to move the place of the end knot i move it forward and the another one backwards like this here we got the option of trim as well as you can see here if trim was checked it trims the extra lines but if i uncheck the trim check this out when we move the end knot we got the blend but the parts of the lines are not trimmed another example for instance here we got a we got an arc and also this one then i want to blend them by this way then in the continuation i'm gonna move the end knot by this way like this or i hold down shift to control the curveness like this or to adjust the slope i check trim and then i click on ok so i can control or adjust the start point where the blend is started here are interesting points that uh, we can use the blend for closed geometries as well for example like i sketch a circle like this and another circle there and then i'm gonna blend these two check this out by this way but here the, the direction is not appropriate but we can flip it fill one check this out we can flip the direction and we usually use in closed geometries and flip to but just in case if the direction wasn't cor correct you can flip it by this way by this way you can fix it so we can use blend curve even for the closed curves too and we can use flip to flip the direction if it was needed i hold down shift to adjust the curveness like this or even you can adjust the position of the point like this check this out you can adjust your positions by this way and also in the open curves we can flip the directions as well but we usually use flip for the closed curves let's check it out for instance in this example if i click on flip one check this out we can flip the direction where the curve has started or you may want to modify the direction of the blend by this way i mean you got two choices you can flip both of the points to each other to modify the direction of the curve like this actually we can uh, use blend with points as well but what does it mean let's check it out for instance here we got this uh, arc i start the command of blend curve here we got only one curve but but i'm gonna specify two points in the curve to blend them by curve blend point i click on point then i specify a point check this out as you can see these two are blended but here we can't uh, specify the second curve position check this out for example for the one we can choose tangency curvature position but if we got two lines we can control the both of the 
lines actually for example we can choose position for the first one and then tangency for the second one or tangency for both that we usually choose tangency for both however we can uh, blend the 3d curves or the curves which have been sketched in the perspective view for instance here if i sketch such a geometry like this and then in the perspective view let me move one of them to make them 3d like this we can blend them in the continuation let's check them out for instance these i start the command of blend curve i specify the two ends then we have we have the blend or the another end by this way in the perspective view that the curve is tangent to both of the sides let's work on some uh, more examples which are frequently used in the projects and also in the practices and you require them here in the top view i'm gonna sketch a line by this way then i make a copy or duplicate then i'm gonna sketch a bigger line uh, let me sketch it by using mid in order to ensure that it is that they are symmetrical right now watch this then in the continuation i move the greater line upwards by this way and then backwards then by having these three straight lines i'm gonna have a chair but how i start the command of blend curve and then i blend these two curves these two lines to each other with each other and i choose tangency then these two by this way in the continuation the other sides and the we got the symmetrical curves here at both sides then in the, in the continuation just as an example i'm gonna convert these to masses in order to enliven the uh, process to show you the potential that you got i start the command of plain surface or planar surface and then i select the lines to convert them to masses or surfaces but wait to hide this line by this way I want to say that the main part of the process is sketching the lines check this out but you know converting them to masses or creating surfaces is not a big issue even if we can add a frame by using pipes that we talked about it before check this out this is the result like this so it is very easy and simple and the main part of the process is creating the lines and after creating the line we're gonna deal with the simple processes then we can customize it for example we can delete these two then we can have plans instead let me explode this then i start plan curve by this way and then the curves and if i add four legs check this out guys we will have a simple chair or furniture and then we can convert it to a mass or a surface or whatever so put this into consideration that the main part of the modeling process is in rhino actually our lines i mean we primarily focus on the lines in rhino when we gotta when we wanna, we wanna model a uh, an object following that let's talk about another uh, issue or another example and then wrap up the session with practicing and some pra I mean exercises here as you can see we got two lines for example then I want to blend these two later I may want to modify the curveness but here before starting the command of blend curve if I activate record history the history command stores the connection between a commands input geometry and the results so that when the input geometry changes the result updates accordingly and note that we can use record history just for once i mean each of the commands has got their specific histories and if we start another command we should uh, record the history again i activate record history then i start the command of blend curve i create the blend i adjust the i adjust the continuity okay record history is no more available then here assume that we got some other lines and i don't wanna 
activate the record history since I don't want to change it. I blend them by a curve. While the previous one as I was using plan record history was enabled. But for the new lines the record history hasn't been applied. Here if I start the command of length curve we are given the option of edit. If I start edit, then we can uh, adjust or edit the blends which their history were recorded. For example, here I have recorded the history of this plan. Right now we can edit it. We can adjust the continuity, flip the directions, join or whatever. Again, if I start the command of blank curve, we can edit the curve because the history is recorded before but the history of the another curve is not recorded so we can't modify it let me give you another example and then i want you to practice each of the examples attentively for instance here if i want to let me give you an example i want to show you an image a bench like this if i want to model this and as you are concerned from now on we're gonna analyze the forms and the geometries the model geometries actually since if you want to be a powerful modeler in rhino you should be able to analyze the form till now that you are skilled at blending you should find these straight lines before starting to model before you start to modeling the an object i mean we should find the lines that you are capable of uh, sketching them and they are not necessarily straight line since we may have curves like this in the perspective view that we're gonna have some challenges in sketching it but these straight lines are easily going to be sketched two simple straight lines let's check it out from the another view we can sketch the straight line as you can see i want to say that you should be able to analyze your form or model and then for the curved part we should use blend so guys let's check it out i get back to rhino then here i keep the polyline i'm gonna use the greedy snaps i sketch a vertical line here we got a long line and also a short line let me sketch the short one or the shorter one both of them are vertical let us check the other views here we got the shorter and the longer lines as you can see the shorter line we got the line under the shorter line that it pa passes through i mean beneath the longer line i pick the polyline and then i sketch the horizontal line to pass through the longer line by this way and then i'm gonna consider uh eight as the white i can make a copy then we can modify the length of the line later. I press down F10. Then I extend their length. But this one, let me check the image again. I should reduce the bottom line since it is shorter than the topper one. So let's check it out in Rhino. As you can see, I reduce the length. Well done and for units uh, distance perspective view then i select them to move them upwards or to place them at heights by this way and we usually use trial and errors while sketching the primary lines for a model i start the command of blank curve i hold down shift for symmetrical movement and then the another curve or blend then this would be the result check this out then here if i join these lines to each other and then connect them to each other then we can easily convert these to a surface check this out guys in a very simple process that we have sketched the curve guys don't forget to practice these items later i will give you to practice <music>